All right, let's get it. So we'll see if we can bring it back here against Bayonetta. Definitely uh, kind of a matchup of old DLC versus new DLC for sure. Yeah. Old and busted versus new hotness. That's what I say. Already, you can kind of see how Peckham want, kind of wants to slowly play this matchup, kind of keeping the distance name alongside Min Min. Nice. Because you really know like... that... Sorry. You know what I'm saying? No, you're good, you're good. No, I, I really like that he's recognizing he can um, immediately hit Bayo out of heel slide because he has so much space on the stage to react to that move. Um, normally, like, Bayo's, if you stay a certain range, they'll uh, get thirsty for that move and just do it. But, uh, yeah, Peckham, he can just hit him out of that if he gets greedy. Try yeah. approach with it. Yeah, that's what I was that's saying really too. Like you can tell that Peckham kind of wants to keep the distance game still, because like you said, eventually a bail will get greedy trying to go for that heal slide, because there's a lot that you can confirm off of it, a lot of percents. Especially for Bale too. Like you can see that she can just witch twist out of shield, and her being close to you is pretty scary. So for Peckham, oh. that distance game is a big, big factor. Nice, gets that pivot grab. Yeah, that was actually very good from both players at the, at that situation. Good for Pegum to save his double jump off stage, but also really good edge guard attempt from Death Space. Yeah. Oh, nice. There's that, that. Ram ram. there's that angle down forward smash again. Uh, nice stall in the recovery mm -hmm. though from Death Space, but there's the Megawatt. So much space on this stage being covered. Oh. Trying to go for the elite smash kill. Basically, spawn with invincibility, S smash the other way because they're scared of you because they might roll in, but Pegum's not a bad player, so that doesn't work. It's yeah. always good to check to see how like how good your opponent is to see if they'll fall for that. But very, very oh, right true. now, yeah, right now Peckham is Ooh. destroying, playing so patient in the mid range, getting these free grabs, mixing up, attacking and defending very well. And uh, yeah, that was a super early kill. There's the wish time though. Wish time's gonna be very good in this matchup, uh, sparingly, just because uh, he's gonna throw that move out. He's gonna throw up his like arms from pretty far away, and then that will activate the witch time. Yeah, and that distance is still good enough for Bayonetta to actually come in and punish, as we've seen here. Once again, Peckham understands. Keep that mid-range game very, very powerful. Punish yep. the heal slide like so, and then you start causing Death Bay to kind of reevaluate what moves can I get in with neutral here. He comes in with dash attack. He gets this nice conversion up into the sky. So can he finish the food off? But it's enough damage to kind of put Peckham a little bit on the on the back end here, even percents I would say actually. Peckham on low. Ooh, no spot. Oh, oh no. dude. dude, that was really unfortunate to miss the tech there, but that was actually so smart from Peckham to recover that low. Because he actually, he knew it, he couldn't come back, but he would um, avoid getting hit too far off stage to get edge guarded. And at that so situation, like, okay, I'll, hit I'll, I'll hit him at least, even if I don't come back. That's what I'm saying, too. And he still had one more stock, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, like. But yeah, I stock leap, but it didn't yeah. matter. And that was crazy too, because it's like you said, Minmin was not going to recover, so the arm would have just actually just hit. And unfortunately for Death Spade, that was the situation. So here we are, game two. Yeah. My, that was my, a situation too where Death Spade was like, all right, my win condition in this matchup most of the time is I get to do all these crazy specials and aerials off stage, and Minmin will probably die if I get a hit. But uh, Peckham's evasion off stage was just so good that he didn't die to any of that. Which is very impressive in a matchup like this. Impressive indeed. Here, but what's impressive here is that space percentage here. 83 on a Peckham gets that forward smash off Ooh. with grab and the guns. Yeah. Oh, damn. That was basically a zero to death. Crazy. Yeah, and why Trooper, if you guys, if he's still in the chat, he's the one who said it. Guns are super good in this matchup too. And they finally come out to play here with the death spade getting a stock lead. Yeah, I really want to see how Death Space is going to hold on to this lead here. Definitely has an opportunity to just run away with the momentum right now. Most yep, definitely. Yep, very aggressive off stage, as you would expect. Whew. Oh. Enter the Dragon at that situation here, and he's a little bit off on the recovery. Nice. He knows he can go a little bit extra low because he's using the Afterburner oh. kick, but I mentioned how Min Min's grab is really good to confirm to any of the arms at a lot of the percents, very dependent on character weight, and it can just yeah. be zero to death from there. Oh, my. Oh, my God. What, where, where's the lead? Where is the lead? I thought we had a lead here. What? I thought we had There's a lead. There's no way he just died to that. <laughs> I can't believe he just died to that. That was a 0 to 74. My jaw's on the floor.
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. My jaw's on the floor. Yeah, what lead, man? Wait, and he's lead? already at kill percent. I thought we had one, man. I thought we were good. Like, Oh, there's the punish. Heal slide. I like that. It tries to come in with a little bit more percent. Because at this point, Despe knows what matters here is the percent because you can't get the punish. Perfect punish. Perfect but... punish on the witch time. Ah. Dude, that was disgusting. There's no other thing else to say about that. Completely disgusting.